Ruski Ed here with a lesson about the agricultural regions of Russia and a very special item that gets raised on these agricultural lands. More on that following the intro song, but in the meantime, inspect the focus words for this lesson. Ruski Ed is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian, you would like to know. And as you probably realize, the northern regions of Russia are not well suited to most forms of agriculture. And so most agricultural activity takes place in the southern portions of Russia. In fact, on this map, we see that most agricultural activity takes place in the south and the west of Russia. In particular, the northern Caucasus, the Volga region, what is called the Central Black Earth region, and southwestern Siberia are the most active areas when it comes to growing stuff for people to eat. It is not too surprising that the Volga region is the area in close proximity to or along the course of the Volga River, including the area around Moscow, Tavir, Yaroslavl, Nizhny Novgorod, Kazan, Samara, Saratov, Volgograd, and Astrakhan. For your information, the Volga River empties into the Caspian Sea otherwise known as Kaspiskaya Moria, via the largest river delta in Europe, which is unsurprisingly known as the Volga Delta, or Delta Volga in Russian, with Delta meaning delta, of course. By the way, the central black earth region, or Centralna Chortnazemnaya Palasa in Russian, is comprised of several oblasts just east of Ukraine. This gets us to a list of some of the locations and geographical items mentioned in this lesson. Volga means Volga, Delta means Delta, Reka means River, Astrahan means Astrakhan, Kaspiskaya Moria means Caspian Sea, and Chortna Zemni means Black Earth. And now for a couple quick sentences incorporating some of these words. Uvolgi Samaya Bolshaya Delta Europia and Uvolgi Samaya Bolshaya Delta Sredi Rek Europi both mean the Volga Delta is the largest river delta in Europe. Kaspiskaya Moria et Samaya Bolshoya Vinutrenii Moria Nazemli and Samaya Bolshoya Nazemli Vinutrenii Moria Kaspiskaya both mean the Caspian Sea is the largest inland sea on Earth. So now let's talk about squash. When it comes to squash, there are several different words which are used to refer to various forms of squash and other melons, including... Tikva, which means pumpkin, but also gourd or squash. Kabachok, which means squash and sometimes zucchini. Baglajan, which means eggplant. Patason, which means white squash. Dinya, which means melon. Zucchini, which means zucchini. And agarets, which means cucumber. Also, a word which is sometimes used to refer to squash is garbuz, which sounds a lot like arbuz, which of course means melon. Incidentally, Russia is third on the list of top worldwide squash producers, behind only India and China, fourth in cucumber production, and eighth in watermelon production. It is worth noting that when it comes to squash, forma isvet plada mogut silna razli chatsya, which means the shape and the color of the fruit can vary greatly. Also, it's good to know that kabachok spaghetti, or sometimes tikva spaghetti, means spaghetti squash. And finally, there are various kinds of squash, including Belaya, which means white, Jolta Aranjavaya, which means yellow orange, Fioletavaya, which means purple, and Tamno Zoloni, which means dark green. And now for a couple quick sample sentences. First of all, although not a popular dish in Russia, we have a sentence about pumpkin pie which goes like this Ana ispekla tikveni pirog na dessert. It means she baked a pumpkin pie for dessert. And. Ana vui rastila a gramnaya kabachkif svayom sadu. It means she grew an enormous squash in her garden. And that's it for this lesson. Ruskiad, signing out now. Das vidanya.